Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Fall 2021 Distinguished Biomedical Lecture at Chestnut Hill College. I'm Chris Dougherty, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the Faculty, and I have a few informational items for you before we begin today's event. As speakers present from the podium, we will be unmasked, observing the standard that we have 12 feet of distance between an unmasked speaker and others in this space. As we complete our comments, or are joined by others at the podium, we will remask. Today's presentation is being recorded, and we will be sharing the link to today's presentation with the broader community for the benefit of those who could not join us here today. And we are so delighted to be here present today with you, with us. Our experience this afternoon is very much about legacy. The legacy of Sister Carol Jean Vale's leadership and vision as president of Chestnut Hill College. The legacy of the Biomedical Distinguished Lecture Series, which under the leadership of Dr. Lakshmi Acheson has consistently engaged the Chestnut Hill College community in timely and critical conversations about research, innovation, and practice in the basic and clinical sciences. And celebrating the legacy of Chestnut Hill College students and alumni, truly ready for any good work, and exemplified by our speaker today, Dr. Aisha Gaius. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Lakshmi Acheson, Professor of Biology and Director of the Biomedical Lecture Series. I hope I don't cry. Thank you, Chris, for your kind welcome remarks. I greatly appreciate it. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for coming to our <coughs> Chestnut Hill College. I meant each and every one of you. Thank you for coming here. To all our visitors, if you are here for the first time, we are delighted to have you with us. If you are a second timer, we are very happy you are back with us. If you are an all timer, we are super happy you are stuck with us. <laughs> Today is a very special day. I'm shaking, Sister Carol. And I'm beginning of many celebrations to follow. The college community will be celebrating Sister Carol's 30 years of great leadership, leadership role and her legacies. I am sad. And as you all know, it's very hard to replace Sister Carol. However, Sister Carol, I am very proud to be one small part of your legacy. It is with great honor I express my gratitude as we celebrate your extraordinary leadership role throughout this academic year by embracing your numerous accomplishments. These include your core values in holistic approach to education, strong campus ministry for spiritual enrichment, smooth trans transition to co-education, successful sports for men and women, and continued growth of Chestnut Hills NCAA Division II Intercollegiate Sports Program, expansion of students' dorm, welcoming diversity, equity, and inclusiveness, building programs at the Sugarloaf Campus, and bringing peaceful and magnificent growth to the college community, college campus on these two hills. These are just a few among many of your leadership roles, Sister Carol and your legacies that will be celebrated throughout this academic year and beyond. Today, Sister Carol, again, I am honored to be just a small part of your legacy. The biomedical lecture series was established on your watch. It is with deep gratitude that I thank you for your unwavering commitment to our lecture series. I am grateful to you for taking time to meet and greet our speakers who were inspired and enriched by meeting you. The lecture series speakers include institute presidents, deans, directors, endowed department chairs, professors, section chiefs, members of the National Academy of Sciences, winners of the Lasker Award, the Benjamin Franklin Medal in Life Sciences, the General Motors Cancer Research Foundation, 
our team physicians for the Philadelphia Phillies and Philadelphia Eagles, as well as three Nobel laureates. Our students received a lifetime opportunity to meet these elite speakers. They went on to shadow the doctors and do cutting edge research and publish papers. These professionals have come from coast to coast and north to south, including Germany, thus putting Chestnut Hill College on the global map. Sister Carol, you recognize the biology department as a signature program and graciously appointed me as chair of the natural science division. With that title, I was very nervous in the beginning as I was fairly new, but with God's blessings, I gained strength and headed the division and conducted three divisional meetings and three departmental meetings each semester. All the minutes are saved on your watch in the archives. My husband, Michael, would tell me jokingly, if you don't work hard, I will report you to the authorities of Chestnut Hill College. Some of you know Michael. He is under a constant pressure of an Ivy League institution at UPenn, where he has brought $30 million to this date. And last month, he received another $5 million. Michael's motto is to keep yourself busy and stay out of trouble. But Michael is a slave driver. I won't work for him. It is a torture. <laughs> Sister Carol, I'm happy to say that the signature program you recognized stood the test of time through all these years. The natural science faculty continue the tradition of excellence by being academically strong, collaborating with neighboring institutions, successfully articulating agreements with Fox Chase Cancer Center and Thomas Jefferson University, publishing papers in peer-reviewed journals, being recognized at national conference, chosen as national conference chairs, and developing strong educational programs and educational models, earning recognitions and awards, including receiving a US patent. Sister Carol, on your watch, some of the natural science faculty also received the Lindbeck Distinguished Award for Excellence in Teaching. Appointment of Dr. Kenneth Soprano on your watch was an extraordinary addition to Chestnut Hill College. Dr. Soprano comes to us with Lindbeck Distinguished Award and many accolades from the Temple University School of Medicine. Thank you, Ken. I am highly honored to be your colleague in the biology department. Appointment of Dr. Joseph Kulkowski as chair of the biology department was a great welcome addition. Joe, you are my trusted friend and my professional colleague. From the time you, Michael, and I went to Fox Chase Cancer Center, I am delighted to be with you in the biology signature program department. Our students have co-authored scientific papers in leading journals, accepted to graduate and medical programs at prestigious institutions like Purdue University, Temple University School of Medicine, Thomas Jefferson University, University of Pennsylvania, and Yale University. Our students have also become successful professionals in biological, molecular, biomedical, pharmaceutical, dental, nursing, environmental, and forensic fields, and some as practicing veterinary phys physicians. Sister Carol, all these are your enduring legacies that were possible due to your profound commitment to science and medicine. As Nobel laureate Dr. Michael Brown said to me, I quote, I was impressed with the vigor that Sister Carol had instilled on this quiet campus. Her support of a scientific lecture series in a faith-based college is a strong testimony that it, there is no conflict between science and faith. I wish Sister Carol a contentment as she embarks on a new stage of life, end quote. This is printed in your legacy folder. I hope you all have the legacy folder to see. Several of the elite speakers from this picture gallery, this is just a partial gallery, they have sent special wishes to you, Sister Carol, to mark this occasion and to celebrate your leadership and legacies. They are also printed in your legacy folder. Let us have some glimpse of the great memories of the biomedical. I will give few glimpses. <clears throat> As you all know that pre-pandemic, Dr. Stephen Klasko was here. Very powerful man, but yet very humble and simple. Seen on the far right side is none other than the chair board of directors of Chestnut Hill College, Mrs. Catherine Lockyer Moulton. Will you please give a hand? <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you, Kathy, for your time. Appreciate it. Paul Offit, you may know Dr. Paul Offit. Often you have seen him in CNN, MSNBC. He is responsible for your vaccine on your arm. He is the FDA member, Vaccine Advisory Committee, and he is a remarkable, humble person. He was here in 2017. Many of you might have seen him. He was one of our biomedical speaker. Diane Soprano, I miss her today. She was not able to come. Who does not know Diane Soprano, Dr. Soprano? She is none other than wife of our own beloved Dr. Kenneth Soprano. And she is the Associate Dean I'm from the Temple University. And Dr. Diane Soprano's interaction with our students to further their graduate education in PhD and MD-PhD programs at, um, from, at Temple University is invaluable. Ken, please say thank you to Diane for this. She is a very, very great advocate for our students. Dr. Stephen Hunger, who was in 2015-16, he was here, director of the CHOP uh, Oncology, chief of oncology. I invited him on a Sunday. He accepted same day, and then he was very delighted to be here at Chestnut Hill College. Nobel laureate, Dr. Michael Brown. Uh, he was the first one to write in the legacy folder as soon as I told Sister Carol about you. He immediately wrote and then sent her the best wishes. Dr. Brown and Goldstein's Nobel work became the basis for statins. Some of you may be taking cholesterol medication, and he was responsible for that uh, cholesterol medication, saving millions of lives, Dr. Nobel and Dr. Michael Brown. Michael Sigati, Dr. Michael Sigati, who is the uh, chief of orthopedic surgery, 25th keynote speaker, so many titles, head team physician, a remarkably busy person. When they do surgery, it takes 10 hours for them to finish the surgery. Next day, they come here like nothing happened, and they're smiling. How humbling is that? Dr. Charles J. Yeo, I cannot say enough about Dr. Yeo. He improved the quality of one of our own colleague here when the person was suffering from pancreatic cancer. Dr. Yeo is a leading pancreatic cancer surgeon in the nation. I didn't know him at all. I just wrote to him an email inviting him. I never thought I will hear from him. Immediately I came back from the class. There was a beautiful note saying, I'm honored to accept your invitation. Since then, Dr. Yu has become a professional and a trusted colleague for me. He has, rec he has recognized the magnitude and caliber of Chestnut Hill College speaker series. He introduces me to uh, president and everyone at the uh, Jefferson University, Dr. Charlie Yeo. When he does Whipple procedure, which removes all the hepatic region, 10 hours of surgery, 10 hours of surgery, and he is here next day. How humbling is that? Dr. Alex Vaccaro, president of Rothman Institute, 25th keynote speaker, on the morning of that day, he said, Lakshmi, I have a surgery at 5 a.m. I will finish at 10, 11 o'clock, and I will jump in the car. He jumped in the car all right. He was stuck in the traffic for three hours. While I was holding the parking cone in the center circle, <laughs> literally basking in the sun for three hours, while all the people who were sitting in the lunchroom, they had to leave. And uh, that's the fringe benefit that I get. <laughs> and Dr. Vaccaro is so amazing, 25th speaker. And uh, he came on the same night he had to go for international flight. And then he wrote to me from the, across the globe. He said how wonderful the time he had. They are still good friends and amazing. On flank on either side is my husband, Michael, and Dr. Clasco. Dr. Dean Kelly, Dean Alan Kelly, Sister Carol. He sends his uh, best wishes to you uh, in the legacy folder along with Michael. I told Michael to come up with a scripture that will fit appropriately who you are, Sister Carol. So Michael came up with that scripture. By wisdom, a house is built, and through understanding, it is established. Through knowledge, its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. How aptly it fits you, Sister Carol. Thank you, Michael. Nobel laureate, Stanley Prusiner, every student had an opportunity to meet every speaker, and they will sit one-on-one -on -one with them and talk to them and interact with them like they are the only ones they have. I had to tell the Nobel laureate, your time is up. How do you say that to Nobel laureate? 
Michael Brown, Nobel laureate said, Lakshmi, can I take five more minutes? What do I say? No. So it's very humbling when you see such people come. It makes you more humble each day when you meet such people. How many students can tell they sat with the Nobel laureate? Only Chestnut Hill College can do that. Nobody else. And Sister Carol, you gave me that opportunity to further this lecture series. Thank you. Dean W. Richardson, Dean Richardson has written to you. He said, no one can replace Sister Carol. Good luck to Chestnut Hill College. And then he is the uh, surgeon to Kentucky Derby, Horse Barbaro. All our uh, house was full always. And I want to thank the college community to make this series so valuable. And your presence is greatly appreciated. The Nobel laureate, Zur Heisen. I picked him up from the airport. He is jet lagged and he's sitting in my office talking to me. Humble, 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 a very great, with great wisdom. He won the Nobel Prize for his discovery of the role of human papilloma virus in, uh, for, and thus saving millions of young women. Also his work laid the groundwork for the vaccine, Gardasil. Many young people, you know that. You take that Gardasil, he is responsible for that discovery. I speak to him now and then, his, his current work, he may get even a Nobel, second Nobel Prize. I keep telling him that you are going to get a second Nobel Prize. Nobel or he sent the legacy. Best wishes to you, Sister Carol. So Wiley has recognized a student uh, to mark this occasion, the legacy celebration, a small scholarship uh, that will be awarded to a life science student. I thank Wiley publishers for that. My wishful prayer, ladies and gentlemen, the CHC Biomedical Distinguished Lecture Series to become recognized as an endowed series to support our scholarship, student scholarship. I hope someday it happens. I believe in God, God answers prayers. So one day it will be endowed. Sister Carol, I am honored to serve under your leadership and I'm truly grateful as we celebrate 30 years of your great leadership throughout this academic year and your enduring legacies forever will remain on this college campus that shines on the two hills. I take this opportunity to extend my gratitude with a small token of appreciation with, the, with this book, The Lives and Maxims of Some of the History's Wisest People, along with a 120-page journal with a famous quote by Rabindranath Tagore, We Come Nearest to the Great When We Are Great in Humility by Rabindranath Tagore. Sister Carol, you will be writing your famous quotes in these pages and your legacies will be documented for generations to come. In Eastern culture, a garland is offered to show the highest honor to a person. Sister Carol, you are that person to receive that honor. I want to honor you with a garland on this occasion and it will be done by our alumna, Dr. Aisha Gayas. Sister Carol, would you please come to the stage, center stage. Well, it was an interesting trip. I, I saw how often my hairstyle changed and <laughs> how much my weight fluctuated. <laughs> but seriously, um, it was easy for me to say yes to this lecture series when Lakshmi first approached me. I have loved science since I was a little girl. I had my first chemistry set, my first microscope, and slides and everything to go with them when I was in elementary school. My parents were very brave, thinking that I would not blow up the house. I continued that love into high school, trying to convince a cousin of mine who was a doctor that he should give me some cancer cells so I could experiment on my guinea pigs to see if I could discover the cure for cancer. He very wisely declined. And then when I did my doctoral work, and actually here at this college when I was doing my studies in biology, I discovered one of the greatest thinkers in the Western world, Pierre Teilhard de Chardin, who became an inspiration for me throughout my studies 
and about whom I wrote my dissertation. Why does that matter? Because he's also one of the greatest scientists and an expert in evolution. So science is dear to my heart, and this lecture series has been a privilege for me to welcome Nobel Prize winners, Lasker Award winners, and prominent physicians and scientists to this campus, to my office, and to have an opportunity to speak with them for a half an hour or more has indeed been a privilege. I have been enriched by every single one of them and benefited as a person from the words of wisdom that they imparted. Lakshmi, I want to thank you for all you have done to make this tribute a reality. I was glad that I saw what you prepared last night and not today, because it would be I who would be shedding tears of joy for your kindness and your thoughtfulness. You know, it's one thing to have an idea. We all have ideas. But to stay with it and to persevere for 28 years, two lectures a year, has truly been a gift to this college. So thank you very much for honoring me. But the honor for this lecture is all Lakshmi's. Thank you. Thank you all so much, each one of you, for coming here. We greatly appreciate your presence. I don't, even though I cannot call each your name, you know who I am talking about. I thank you all. Your presence means a lot. And thank you for the support. This was one of the greatest days in this college to celebrate Sister Carol's legacy and her remarkable 30 years of leadership, unselfish and dedicated service to the college. I am going to truly miss Sister Carol. How can I come back here without Sister Carol? Why didn't you talk, Kathy, five more years to Sister Carol? It is very hard to replace Sister Carol. Please give a very big hand to Sister Carol. Thank you, Aisha. All the best. Please join us for a reception in the rotunda. Thank you, Dr. Christopher Dougherty, for uh, arranging this. Everybody is welcome to join the reception. Thank you all very much. Thank you. <laughs>